Hey everyone, so here is a question from algebraic expression. So here we have to simplify this uh, expressions given to us. So the first one is simplify the following expressions. We have three questions in it. So the first one is x plus y plus z into x plus y minus z. So here you have to open the brackets and you have to solve this. So let's start with the first one. Here we go. So first let me write down the question. So x plus y plus z and then multiply it by x plus y minus z. Now when you are multiplying a two brackets so when you are multiplying a uh, trinomial with a trinomial you have to multiply the first bracket each a term in the first bracket with the entire uh, bracket the second one means you have to multiply x with the entire bracket so let's just multiply x with the entire bracket so this will be like x into so there's a no sign means it's a multiplication into just write down what you have in the second bracket so this is how you have to open you're using a distributive law here then second we have a plus sign so put plus then we have y now multiply with y with the entire all the terms in second bracket so y into x plus y minus z and then again I have a plus sign here so put plus sign again z so z into again the whole thing multiply the whole thing with a z so x plus y minus z now you open the bracket so I'm going to multiply x with every term here in the bracket given so x into x is nothing but x square so I'll get x square then x into y will be xy but plus sign is there put plus sign then xy then x into z will be xz but minus sign is there so put minus sign then xz same thing you have to do with y also now y into x will be xy or yx anything but here I'm going to put plus sign and then xy and again y into y is y square you have plus sign here put plus it's like a y square then y into z will be yz you have a minus sign here so put minus then y z so here actually you're multiplying this plus into minus which is minus so that is why I'm just writing the same sign given in this bracket here then again with the z so plus z into x will be x z then z into y will be yz so plus yz and then minus z square now after solving this you have to look for the like terms so let us search if we have a x square here so x square is here but we don't have anywhere else so this will be equal to x square now search for xy so we have a xy here we have a xy here that's it so xy plus xy will be 2xy so plus 2xy next we have a xz here so xz is here and xz is here but this look at the sign here here we have a plus sign and here we have a minus sign so they will get cancelled okay next we have y square we don't have y square anywhere else so plus y square this is over then we have minus yz so minus yz and then plus yz they will get cancelled and last we have left with minus z square so minus z square that's it so with this we're done with the first question now we're going to move on to the next one second question so this is quite simple only you have to know how to open the brackets all right the second one so let me rewrite the question again so we have x square bracket x minus 3y square minus xy again bracket y square minus 2xy and again we have minus x into y cube minus 5x square now we're going to start opening the bracket here so I'm going to multiply x square with the entire all the terms in the first bracket so x square into x will be x cube yeah then minus sign is here so put minus 
then x square into 3 y square will be 3 x square y square because there is no x term there just write down just multiply it now the second term you have to be quite careful because you have minus sign here so when you're multiplying this x y you have to multiply along with this minus sign so minus x y into y square that is how you have to multiply so minus into plus will be minus so x y into y square so you're multiplying x y into y square so just multiply the y term here so y into y will be y cube so minus x y cube that's it again you have a minus here minus here so minus into minus will become plus so put plus sign now multiply x y and this 2 x y so it will become 2 x square y square because x into x will be x square y into y will be y square next again we have a minus sign here so you're going to multiply minus also along with the x so minus x into y cube will be minus x y cube okay this we have multiplied again minus into minus will be plus then x into 5 x square will be 5 x cube that's it now we have opened the bracket you have to look for the like terms so here i have x cube and here also i have a x cube so x cube plus 5 x cube will be 6 x cube so this is equal to 6 x cube now here i have x square y square so look for the x square y square here also we have a x square y square so we can gonna add or subtract them so minus 3 plus 2 will be minus 1 so we'll get minus 1 x square y square or you can just simply write uh, 1 x square y square anything now we have x y cube here also we have a x y cube so minus minus is plus so add them so it will become 2 x y cube but minus sign will remain same so minus minus is addition add them but the sign will be negative so minus 2 x y cube that's it so this was the second problem now we we'll go for the third one in third one also you have to open the bracket in same way now this kind of questions are really important for the exam they may ask you for the two mark or three marks question now third one here let me write down the expression so we have a 2 x square x plus 2 minus 3 x into x square minus 3 and then minus 5 x into x plus 5 okay we're going to start opening the bracket so 2 x square into x will be 2 x cube okay just add the power then we have a plus sign put plus then 2x square into 2 will be here there's a no variable so just multiply the coefficient so 2 2 is a 4 so 4x square now we have a minus sign so minus into plus will be minus so I'm going to put minus sign now multiply 3x into x square will be 3x cube okay x into x square is x cube again minus into minus will be plus so I'm going to put plus here then 3x into 3 will be 9x so I'll get 9x okay now again we have minus sign so minus 5x into x will be minus 5x square okay x into x is x square then minus 5x into 5 will be minus 25x just multiply the numbers here now solve the like terms so here you have 2x cube and here I have a 3x cube minus 3x cube so 2 minus 3 will be minus 1 so this is equal to minus 1x cube or you can just simply write minus x cube now we have a x square here we have x square here so 4x square minus 5x square will be minus 1x square so minus 1x square then 9x and minus 25x so just subtract it you will get 16 since 25 is greater so we will get minus 16 x that's it so that's it we have solved all the three problems i hope it's clear
in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching